Grafting is an asexual plant propagation technique that unites plant components from various plants so they will develop and heal as a single plant. This method is used to preserve clonal production, exploit better root systems, or propagate plants that do not root well from cuttings. In this video, I go over the fundamental methods for grafting fruit trees and other plants that can't be grown from seeds or cuttings. Grafting Methods Whack and Tongue Graft Grafting should be done 10 to 12 inches above the roots of clonal rootstock. Grafting occurs 1 to 2 inches above the roots of the seedlings. Form the tongue by making a second incision in each component that goes halfway through. Then, ideally on both sides, put the cyan piece and the rootstock together so the cut surfaces match. Finish the whip and tongue grafting procedure by wrapping the graft with tape, film, or a rubber band and applying a tree wound dressing. Numerous vegetables are also grafted using the whip graft, a straightforward variation of this grafting method. Cleft grafting. Cut the desired limbs off with a smooth cut for cleft grafting. These limbs ought to have a diameter of at least an inch. Use a hatchet or cleft grafting tool to split the stock, being careful not to split any knots. Open the split by driving a screwdriver or the end of the cleft grafting instrument into its core. In order to keep the tree alive until the grafted scions are growing well, it is best to leave a nursing limb when performing cleft grafting. If the scions are developing well, the nursing limb may be cut off in the middle of the summer or top work the following winter. Create a cleft or notch on the rootstock by making a vertical cut. With the help of a wedge, shape the scion so that it fits tightly into the cleft. Bind the scion in place and apply grafting wax to the tape or film on two sides of the stock away from the graft six to eight weeks after they start to grow. By doing this, the tape will finally be able to peel off, eliminating the chance of girdling. Leave the tape alone to peel off naturally, do not remove it. The active growing season, which runs from early June through early September, is when flowers bloom. It is desirable to bloom earlier in the growing season than later so that the bud can develop sufficiently before winter. Bud Grafting Dates of Approximate Budding Memorial Day until July 1st From June 22nd through August 1st, Apple July 4th to September 15th for pears Take a bud off the scion, leaving a thin piece of wood behind. On the rootstock, cut a T-shaped slit and lift the bark just a bit. Make sure the bud eye is visible before inserting it into the teacut. Tea budding. On the rootstock, cut a T-shaped slit and lift the bark. Remove the bud and a little piece of wood from the scion along with the bud shield. Make sure the bud shield fits snugly as you insert it into the teacut. Side grafting. Make sure the size of the vertical slits on the side of the rootstock and scion match. Put the sliced surface of the scion up against the rootstock to create a union. Use tape or grafting compound to hold the graft union in place. These grafting methods are frequently employed in horticulture to increase desirable features, produce new types, and propagate plants. By mastering these methods, gardeners and horticulturists can cultivate a wide variety of plants and explore countless grafting options. I appreciate you seeing this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel for other educational content.